example number six asks the question to uh, compute the maximum radiant flux on a target surface five meters from the edge of a pool fire. So a 2,000 kilowatt pool fire or a 2 megawatt fire. It's a one diameter curved area. So, you know, in a exam question, it wouldn't ask you to do both. It would ask you to do one or the other. Um, but it would likely have to tell you, you know, use this method or use this method. Because as you can see, the results are a little different. And we might have this in terms of most nearly in the end. But using the Lawson Quintieri method, we're looking at this equation. And again, these come out of the Fire Protection Handbook, that same chapter. But we look uh, here at what the uh, formula is looking for. Our heat release rate is a function of uh, the chai uh, R to the heat release rate Q, 4 pi, and this R um, is squared. So what is this? This is that um, efficiency factor, combustion efficiency. So in this case, we're talking radiative. And typically, unless you know, the problem could state uh, use a radiative fraction of 0.35, um, but likely, you know, if that's not stated, use 0.3. So our row distance, um, you know, if you look here, we're looking at this, we're looking at this fire here. So we're told this is five meters away and we're told this is a meter All right so the center line of that plume then is half a meter and so this overall distance is my r sub o All right so that's why we get 5.5 meters so working this out Using the Lawson Quintieri method, we get uh, 1.58 uh, kilowatts per square meter. Looking at the Byler Shokri, uh, this is a function primarily of length. So in this case, L is uh, equal to RO. So these are the same. Diameter, we're told is one meter. Working this out, we're raising it to the negative 1.59 power. So, using the Byler Shokri method, uh, you have uh, just at a kilowatt per square meter. So, you see a little bit difference again in terms of most nearly. This would be you know, one kilowatt. This might be more like 1.6 or 2 kilowatts, so uh, something along those lines. Uh, you recognize if you look in the handbook, there are um, limitations on when to use this. I think this is RO over R has to be uh, this real cap. Has to be greater than four. All right, so in this case, 5.5 um, divided by r, which would be 0.5. So we're okay in this case. And the L, see, I think the limitation there for L. Oh yeah, limitation on this one is L over D. 
has to be uh, between 0.7 and 15 for this to work. All right, so there again, that kind of relates back to fire protection analysis when we talk about equation limitations. Um, so make sure that so maybe the same kind of question if it didn't tell you which one to use you may have to figure that out based on the limitation right.